The Sierra is a messy situation as snow continues to fall. And if you can avoid getting out, stay in. If not, be very careful. More on the travel woes in a moment, but we'll start with meteorologist Tracy Humphrey, who's been tracking the slog all day long. How's it looking right now, Tracy? <laughs> That's one word for it. Uh, more in the way of snow showers uh, impacting the area overnight tonight and also during the day on Christmas. Take a look at your satellite and your radar. We are looking at snow showers in the Sierra, above 4,000 feet in elevation, and we also still have a few light rain showers as well. So who's picking up what? You can see I'm looking at the opportunity for some light to moderate rainfall north of Auburn, headed up 80. And then once you get to around 4,000 feet, you are going to be coming into more snow showers in the forecast. So I got a cold front working its way through the area, and that cold front does have the opportunity to trigger the um, some heavy rounds of rainfall and snowfall. So that's going to be in the forecast overnight tonight through early Christmas morning. Here's a look at how much rainfall we have picked up today, more than an inch in Placerville more than a half of an inch in Auburn. Sacramento still not so much as we did yesterday, but hey, a little something's better than nothing. As far as snow showers, take a look at this. Low snow is in the forecast. So this is throughout the day Saturday into Christmas night. We can see four inches of snowfall in Placerville. You could be looking at close to four inches of snowfall in Jackson. And then we're looking at for parts of some of those ski areas, close to 20 inches of snow showers at Sierra Tahoe, 15 inches at Squaw Valley. Now even more is on the way. As we move through the next couple of days and the snow levels continue to fall, we'll see an ongoing opportunity for snow showers, low snow above 1,000 feet in elevation through Wednesday. So tonight's snow levels will drop between 4 and 5,000 feet. Saturday and Sunday, cold air comes in, snow levels falling to 1,700 feet. We get to Monday, colder air comes in, snow levels fall to, you know what, look at that, 800 feet. And then we get to Tuesday, and look at that, we bottom out near 500 feet. I'm not going to rule out a flurry a few flurries in Sacramento. Coming up, how much when we're all said and done? We'll take a look at the latest storm totals in just a few moments. Okay, hard to believe. Thank you, Tracy. And make sure to download our ABC 10 app so that you can get the latest information about winter conditions. There, you can also find current weather and traffic updates specific to your area. Well, travel in the Sierra has been rough all day long. This Amazon truck got stuck in the snow on Highway 89. Fortunately, Kale Trans helped it get free. Despite tough conditions, roads in the Sierra were full with holiday travelers. And for a variety of reasons, they were definitely taking it very slow. ABC 10's Van 2 talked to some of them. Yeah, talk about some much needed snow. Just look at how much we have been getting here. It really does help make for a picture perfect Christmas Eve scene in the Sierra. But getting through the I-80 pass, a much different story for many holiday travelers making the journey facing road closures and delays. 10 hours and counting. The Tong family making their way from San Jose to Stockton and to Lake Tahoe for Christmas. I didn't expect it would take around 10 hours. As blustery snow covered the roadway, I-80 was closed in both directions several times throughout the day due to spinouts. But they blocked the road. Even before reaching the summit, the Tong family had to turn around and stopped at Cisco Grove to install chains. Many others, too, with holiday plans thrown off course. And, and they didn't mention if it would reopen or not. When they said we could make a U-turn, we realized there's not going to be a bathroom for a while and we have a bunch of kids. With his four-month-old baby in tow, Father Torb Aria opted to stay at the gas station, not wanting to risk getting stuck in traffic for hours. Hopefully the road opens up and once it does, we'll go. If not, then we're gonna have to find a motel or something. For many, getting to their white Christmas winter destination proving to be difficult, but worth the journey. You know, we are from San Francisco. It's never snowing, so but I love snow. <laughs> and as with any snowstorm, California transportation officials warn people again, reminding them to slow down on the roads and to stock up on supplies like gas, water and blankets, and of course, snow chains. And also, most importantly, know before you go. The best way is to download the Caltrans quick map for all of those latest ever-changing road conditions in the Sierra.